here's the story. Bah! Fluff and stuff, are you okay? Your eyes look a little wonky, said Moses to the sheep. He was watching sheep in the wilderness for his father-in-law. Wait a second. I thought he was a prince, you might say, raised by Pharaoh's daughter. You're right. A lot has happened. One day, Prince Moses was walking down the street. He saw an Egyptian herding, a Hebrew person. Remember, he was actually Hebrew. He said, stop it, and tried to protect the Hebrew person, and he killed the Egyptian. Ah! So he ran to the desert to hide because he was a murderer. Now he's been living here for 40 years, and every day has been pretty much the same thing. Oh, <gasps> uh, fluff and stuff? Do you see what I see? That bush! It's burning, but it's not burning up. <gasps> There's an angel. Moses, take off your shoes. <gasps> yes, God! The glory of God was so strong, Moses couldn't even look at the bush. My people are crying out for my help, said God. So I'm going to send you back to Egypt to bring them out into a good and spacious land I have ready for them. I will go with you. I'll tell you what to say to Pharaoh. I will tell you what to say to the Hebrew leaders. They will help you. I will give you miracles. Let's do this. Oh, God, no, you have the wrong person. I am not good enough for this. I am not good at talking. I can't talk to Pharaoh. People might not believe me. They might not listen to me. I can't do it. You need to find somebody else. Moses, said God, I made your mouth. I made your tongue. I will help you. I will be with you. Oh, God, I just can't. You got to send somebody else. God got a little mad now at Moses. What a thing for Moses to say to his maker. Aaron, your brother, he's a good speaker, Moses. I'll send him to help you and I will be with both of you on this big adventure. Today we are learning that God takes care of us even when we feel like we're not good enough.